And so we're looking at the same Chinese checkers problem, trying to count the paths to get from this position to the dominant center position. And we're dealing with a problem that network administrators deal with all the time, which is how do you get information or how do you get electricity from one position to another if you're on a network or on a grid and a part of it goes down. In this case we have a blockage here and your job is to try and find out how many possible paths there are to get here by filling in the possible paths to each location. And so what you're going to be doing looks a lot like this. You know there's one there and there's one here and there's one here and there is one to get to there and one to get to there so there are two there and there's just one there but this one is blocked. How does that impact the total number of possible paths to this position?